Oh, f Hey guys, my name is Mel Pillow, and this is my first commentary. Uh, I'm hoping that'll be pretty good. I'm not sure exactly what I'm supposed to say, so I guess I'm just gonna wing it, see how it goes. You guys can tell me what I did right, wrong, all that good stuff. Let's save that for the end. Uh, right now, I'm playing Halo Reach, and it ha I know it has been out for a while. I actually kind of got it late. I also wanted to put up a good, good game instead of just an okay game where you guys won't be that amazed. This game I think I did pretty good. I ended up going 20-0 and getting a Be the Bullet medal, which is pretty cool for me because it was my first one. I really enjoyed that. I use the sniper rifle a lot, so my teammates are kind of letting me get at it the whole time. Like you notice, I'll just pick it up off the spawn three times, which is really cool with my teammates. And that's why I like playing with friends instead of randoms. Now I really actually prefer the sniper in this one more to Halo 3. It just sounds more powerful and looks better. I mean, not to mention, I think the hitboxes in this game are a bit bigger, because I mean, like, right there where I sniped that guy, I mean, that was in the shoulder, in my opinion, I don't know, I could have swore I missed that. Maybe the hitboxes are bigger because of the jetpacks? I'm not really sure, because I mean, it's with all the armor abilities now, it's harder to get headshots, so maybe that's why they did it, if they did it, or maybe it's just because of all the attachments you get out onto your helmet. I don't really know, you guys can see if that feels that way for you in the comments. Uh, I actually really love armor abilities in this game. A lot of people say that it takes away from the Halo feel, but Halo for me, Halo 3 had less strategy, and it was pretty much all skill based, which is great for people who are like, oh, I'm so much better than you. But for to have some strategy mix in there, it makes the game a lot more complicated and a lot better to play overall. Now with all these armor abilities, I mean, you have armor lock, which in my opinion which is my personal favorite by a mile. I mean, if someone throws a nade at me, I tap it and it brushes right off my shields, and that's great. Because then that may give me the chance to win, and not to mention, I uh, beat people with swords by meleeing them using armor lock. As I mean, I'm just, I, I just love using armor lock, it's great. And jetpack is also a really great thing to use. Where if you knock the guy's shields down, you can just fly up into the air, finish him off, because you can't really hide from a guy in the air, and it's just really hard to do. Oh yeah, another thing about this is, I'm not sure if they did this on purpose or on accident, but you can shoot through this glass thing right there, I'm sure a lot of you know that. But if you try it, which I actually end up do doing at the end of this video, I try and shoot through another glass, and it doesn't work. So I'm pretty sure they did that on purpose because you can just look straight down the skywalk right there and get an easy kill. So I'm pretty sure that that was on purpose. Some of my friends disagree. They say that that was a freak accident. And right there is one of the reasons I like armor lock. I just waited for my friend to come up and finish him off with a rocket and save my life. And the bloom in this game, I'm not really sure if I like that. Uh, like right here while I'm shooting with the DMR, it's like I don't know. Like I know, like I said, strategy's better. Where if I'm shooting as fast as I can compared to slow, accurate shots, but the bloom I think just kind of takes it too far. Like I keep shooting at people and thinking, oh, I definitely got this, but then for my last four shots, go over his head or barely miss him because the bloom's just too big. <sighs> Uh, yeah, you usually have to end up zooming in just so that that won't happen. And it's just, I just hate it. Like, that probably happens to you guys a lot, too. It's terrible, in my opinion. They might have to take that down and reduce it in an update. Now, I don't know what that guy was doing. It just kind of looked like I was walking into the wall there, but I'm not going to complain. I'll take that free kill. Uh, I usually kind of stay back with the sniper, try and do some more long range work. Like, whenever a guy gets close to me, if you notice, I'll jump up the top, and since I was being shot, I ended up jumping down. But, like, if someone's close to me, I'll try and trick them, go around using my favorite thing, strategy. Because I'm actually a Call of Duty player, and as I'm sure you guys know, in Call of Duty, it takes relatively no skill. It takes half a second to kill someone. The strategy is everything in that game, so that's why I play the way I do in Halo 3. 
And now that armor abilities are there, I think I'm just doing a lot better because Halo players are, like hardline Halo players, are pretty much just for the skill base. And now that they've added all these kind of armor abilities, they're not really sure how they're going to work that in, which is working great for me. And I also love the fact that they really play on uh, commendations in this game, the rank up. Which I'm pretty sure they stole from uh, challenges in Call of Duty. As if you look at the two, they're basically the same thing. Challenges in Call of Duty say, do this and you'll get this much XP. And then yeah, that's the same thing in here. I mean, in Call of Duty, it's got, you know, gun challenges one, two, three, and four. And here it's iron, bronze, silver, gold, onyx. I mean, it's the same thing, basically. It's all great. And another thing I like is the credits in this game. That's also interesting how they work that in there. I thought it was kind of iffy at first that it wasn't going to work. Because how are you going to level up and get credits at the same time to buy stuff? But now that I see that you can get helmets and unlock stuff for those helmets, it's just kind of a cool way of saying, hey, look at this, I've saved up this much credits. Whoever's going to get the thunder armor effect first is definitely going to be popular because that's just too much credits. From what I've heard, you actually have to be general to get. Oh, I missed that easy snipe. You have to be general, which is 2 million credits, just straight up general, to get the armor ability. That's if you don't buy anything the whole time you've been playing. Which, <laughs> I don't know about you guys, I definitely can't do that. I don't even like armor abilities. Like, they're basically everything you buy with credits is pointless. But I like having my guy look cool compared to having it look different from someone else's view because if you buy an armor ability it doesn't help you you don't see it very often at all the only what armor ability that actually affects you really is grind for that party which is the cheapest and probably the one i'm gonna buy if i do buy one because i mean honestly how could you be mad if every time you die the little kids go yay you can't five minutes remaining right there is him once again one of those great things i love armor lock dodged both his nades right there and just had my friend go out finish off the guy. I, I just love armor lock, it's great. I also like how they brought firefight into this. Firefight and which brings also with commendations but firefight is cool how they brought that back over from ODST. I don't like the fact that you can't play it inf to infinite score and like until you die. Like that was always a cool thing to see how long you last. They took that away for just to get one set, which I think is kind of lame. Like if, if they just had one thing in there for how long it could last, that would definitely make my day. I mean, some people might quit out, there might be problems with that, but I think it'd definitely be worth it. Okay, let's see. See, the jetpacking does have its weak parts right there. Where he's, if you're jetpacking stupidly like that guy, he had no practical purpose of doing that. He was in the air, he was stuck in the air, and he couldn't escape from my sniper shots. And another reason I love armor lock right here, I get hit with the sniper, and I see that my two teammates walk by. And I'm assuming it's harder for the sniper to hit me because of that, and he, I eventually get away. And that's what I was talking about before. I tried to shoot through that glass, you cannot do it. The, that glass to the left right there is the only glass you can shoot through. I'm pretty sure they did that on purpose. I'm not really sure exactly why. Maybe just easy kills me on that. Or they didn't want people hiding there. Uh, right now I'm capping the sniper spawn because I know I'm pretty close to be the bullet metal. And like I said, I've never gotten one before. So I was just really trying to sit over there and camp it out for the last two kills of the game. <coughs> My teammates are off doing work. I'm actually telling them not to get any kills, that's why I don't shoot at those guys. Which is kind of a douche thing to do in my opinion. But like I said, I'm one away. And this guy starts shooting at me once again, armor lock, love it, saved my life like four times this game. I recommend using it. Now there's one kill left, I see the sniper spawn, I grab it, and if you hear in the background, my teammate is actually shooting at a different guy. And uh, right before I'm lucky, this guy pops out, I nick his elbow, and I get the kill that I wanted. Now guys, if you like this commentary, if you like this video, please tell me, thumbs up, subscribe, check out my other videos, and please, 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 tell me what I need to do in commentaries, tell me what I need to talk about, tell me what you guys l would like to hear. 
check out my channel and thanks for watching this video.